Hey guys, I hope that you are all having an amazing day. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, what Fortnite should do to re what Fortnite should return to the game to make XP fun again, to make the grind mo much more fun. Things that just need to return. So, if you guys are new, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. Let's get straight into the video. So, the first thing I want to talk about is um, supercharged XP weekends. So. Supercharge XP um, weekends was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. It was like every other weekend, some weekends, maybe it happened like five times in the whole time of Chapter 2, Season 1. It was when XP was supercharged, so you, so you get um, three times as much XP, I think, as what um, it normally is. So say if you open a chest, instead of 130 XP, you would have got three times more than that. But um, XP was different in chapter two, chapter two, season one. So yeah, that would be amazing if they could bring that back. Um, I'm sure so many people would agree with me that it would be so much fun to grind out again. Because I remember just just grinding out supercharged XP. I mean, supercharged XP is still here, but only if you don't complete um, your 10k challenges, um, quick challenges, and you'll get 30,000 <coughs> XP in supercharged. So the next thing um, I want to talk about, which they need to bring back, is um, how much XP we need to the next level. Like, you know, um, they need to make it so it's fair, because you know it gets harder when you level up for sure. But um, they need to bring back from chapter two, season two. I'm talking about this time. They need to bring back how much when it shows how much XP you need left to the next level. So it showed in the um, battle pass section how much more XP you need to get to the next level. Do you guys remember that? Um, so yeah, they need to bring that back because that was actually really helpful. I don't know why they even got rid of it. It doesn't really make sense why they got rid of it. But um, that would just be really helpful if it stayed. So um, that should definitely come back for sure. The next thing I want to talk about is um, the level leaderboard. So this was from Chapter 2, Season 1. Do you guys remember when it showed out of all your friends list um, who the highest levels were? So it so it showed there was a section in the battle pass when it showed like um, levels or something, and everyone on your friends list would be there, and it would show the exact level. And the highest level out of your, out of your friends list will be at the very top. Do you guys um, remember that? That was that was super awesome. They need to bring that back, or maybe like a leaderboard for the whole entire world, like on what level everyone is. That'd be super cool, like the highest levels in the world. Sure, that should be like a leaderboard or something. Next thing I want to talk about is um, weekly challenges. So, they used to be really, really good XP, but every single season they always lower the amount of XP for some reason. I have no idea why, but they always do it. So, it, was, it used to be like 60,000 XP or something like this, um, and then it just goes lower and lower every time. And now it's on 20,000 XP each. But um, the legendary quest is like 55,000 or something. But um, it just it's annoying when it gets lower every single season. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. The XP for weekly challenges was really good in Chapter 2, Season 1 and Season 2, I'd say. Um, so yeah, they need to make weekly challenges, the XP, um, the same and stop changing it. Because it's really annoying. For sure. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is quick challenges to be like season 3. So quick challenges, they were actually quick in season 3 and last season. But I was, I'm saying season 3 because they gave more XP. Um, so they gave 14,000 XP and there was 5 challenges. There was 5 of them and, you, and they gave you 14,000 XP each um, for when they reset every day. You know, when they reset and give you um, that extra boost of XP. And when you completed all your 14,000 XP challenges, then each one would cost would be 1.4 thousand XP for each challenge. I mean that was that's super cool, but um, now it's only 1 thousand XP. But um, last season that was it was um, 1 thousand XP for each challenge and 10 thousand XP for each um, challenge when it resets. But there was five challenges, and this season quick challenges are awful. They're terrible, they're not even quick, they're so annoying, and, and there's only three of them. Only three of them this time. 
it's, it's, they're so annoying. Now look at mine. Damage opponents at Pizza Pit or Pizza Pit's food truck, which is either here or here. So I need to get a circle there. Harvest wood at Hunter's Haven and deploy scanners at Retail Row, which is actually broken right now, if you haven't seen my last video. So, yeah, the next thing I want to talk about for XP being better is um, creative, creative XP to return. I mean, it was the best last season, I'd say, creative XP. That was when I discovered it last season. What the heck has someone built? Oh my god. So, creative XP, if, if you didn't know, you got um, 6,300 XP every 15 minutes for 1 hour and 15 minutes, and you could just reset creative. And this was so helpful for those solo grinders who don't grind constantly, or for, for people who can't play that much. It was just really helpful to, to level up easier but then they got rid of it this season where you can only get it once a day so for only one hour and 15 minutes so in total like 31,000 XP so that that needs to return if that was still here I'd say I'll be like level 450 right now that would be super super annoying that they got rid of it because I could have maybe gotten to like level 550 or something this season but um it would have just been cool if they could bring it back because I'm, so many people can agree with me. It was so helpful. It was so helpful, creative XP, especially like if I wanted to take a break from grinding or when I was when I was asleep or something like this. So much easier. And then the next thing I want to talk about is more unlockable unlockable styles. Everything's been griefed. So like, gold gold PD was at level 350. And that was such a grind, but the reason not many people got there, there was like 500 to 1,000 people managed to get there to unlock Fully Gold Peely. The, the reason not many people got there was because it was the second season in Chapter 2. Not many people really knew how to level up that much, so I'd, I'd say if they bring back something like that now, um, we would know how to level up, for sure. We'll def they should definitely bring higher level rewards. And um, the final thing... I want to talk about is actually just bringing back banners or something J even if it's just banners just high level rewards and I got loading screen glitch <laughs> that sucks just high level rewards oh, wait no I didn't let's go high level rewards um, for banners so banners got they got rid of banners in season 3 the final season for banners was season 2 they had banners for each 100 levels up to level 500 in chapter 2 season 1 and then in season 2 it's for every 50 levels up to 300 so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if I missed anything I think that they just need to do something good for XP next season for sure or just keep it the same so then we don't have to get used to new things all the time do you guys agree with me so yeah thank you for watching this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new and yeah, I'll see you in my stream later or in my next video. Goodbye.